A colleague of mine recently asked me, I wonder where the word gaff comes from, as in house. And I thought that will be really easy. That'll take about 20 seconds and then I'll have a video and then, hey presto, hey some other word. I have a video, it's all done. I was of course wrong. As far as I can see, there are at least three types of gaff and two types of gaffer. So shall we take them in turn? You've seen the headlines, I'm sure. Some bottom feeding tabloid or newspaper or news source. I just did, I never, that's weird. Anyway, one of those places, they write a headline which says some person or some government place has been involved in a gaff. These headlines, which are usually about racism, it's usually a white person saying something awful about a bunch of people that they've never met, they usually say something like Adolf Hitler in racist gaff or Adolf Hitler in 100 million dead World War II gaff or Daily Mail supports black shirts during World War II gaff. You know the type of thing. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as a blunder, an indiscreet act or remark, and then it puts it in brackets in French. Oh, sorry, it, but the brackets mean that's the etymology, it comes from French. Brackets usually mean etymology, by the way, in a dictionary. I mean, I could have done that all in one take, but then I kept remembering the other bits of the script. Etymology online leads us down the same route and says, suggests that basically it's probably from an old French word meaning, well, that is gaff, uh, spelt with an E, which means sort of a clumsy or difficult remark. This word in turn came from a word for a boat hook. A, a, boke? a, a boat hook. This in turn comes from Old Provençal, uh, which is a, you know, the, the we call it, you know what I'm saying, that place in France. Anyway, an old Provençal word, which, which means to, to seize. The word goes even further back than that to Proto-Germanic, and then even further back that, than that to Proto-Indo-European, that good old pie. So it seems the word gaff is a very, you know, the sound is a very old sound. The story of gaff meaning a boat hook, leading to it meaning something that you say which is a bit stupid or foolish is unclear, but worldwide words suggest that it might be to do with, well, the French sense of the word, meaning that you feel speared after saying something stupid, which I have to say, I experience at least twice a day. In fact, I started making these videos based on the fact that I kept saying stupid things and I continue to keep saying stupid things, so I'm gonna to continue to make making these stupid videos. Is that all right? There is a slightly different etymology explanation which is suggested by Wiktionary, which of course is not a, a, sort of a trusted source but it is a good place to start as I've said before about Wikipedia. Either way it suggests that gaff spelt G-A-F not G-A-F-F-E which is how it's meant to be spelt is well it's shorthand for an initialism which is uh, I-D-G-A-F idgaf an initialism or acronym there's another video I spoke about them who cares but anyway I-D-G-A-F stands for I don't give a f now I've never heard that one and also I've never heard anyone use it so if you use that to mean that thing but if you're using gaff then that means you give a fuck which is which I, I would like a t-shirt that actually says give a because, because so many people don't seem to give a. In fact, it's almost a badge of honor these days to say I don't give a. Maybe if we all gave a, maybe we'd be in a much better position as a society. Okay, rant over. Okay, I need to gaff. So that's gaff as in blunder or mistake, but what about gaff as in a place of residence? Well, gaff as in, Gaff, as in a place of residence, as in gaff, I don't know why I keep saying that, G A F F, comes from the 18th century, and that's when there were places which sold cheap entertainment for the masses. They were known as gaffs. Music halls, theatres, those types of places. According to Worldwide Words, this probably comes from a Romany word, which we've covered before, Roma, which there's quite a lot of English words which are Roma words, uh, meaning town, or specifically market town. Unfortunately, there's no citation for that, so if you know some Roma and you can give me whether that's true or not, I'd be very grateful. So that means when my mate Martin invites me around to his gaff, or my mate Nathan invites me around to his gaff, or 
some other person invites me around to his gaffel in my colleagues uh, example it, her, her mates Coops and Keith invite her around to their gaff they are inviting her around for cheap entertainment I mean you can make of that what you will so so far we have gaff as in a fishing spear boat spear thing and we have gaff as in a blunder or a mistake in speech and we have gaff based on gav a romany word meaning a place of residence or cheap entertainment but what about gaffer as in the foreman on a building site or gaffer as in the electrician on a film set etymology online ventures that it's probably a contraction of grandfather or godfather and which opposed to gamma which is the which is a contraction of a great a grandmother or a godmother those ones so basically it's a term of deference or respect now you might imagine that that's transferred onto a film set for the electrician because I mean everyone on a film set is skilled in some fashion but of course the, the gaffer is, I mean, he has a very physical job to do. So unlike, I don't know, the actor, I don't, I'm digging myself a hole here about the film industry that I really know nothing about. You might imagine that the term gaffer is transferred over to the film industry for electrician, but that's not the case. Unfortunately, just like the explanation for godfather and, and godmother, there's, there's, there's no real straight answer to this one. And there's quite a bit of guesswork. There's sort of like a lot of etymology. It's kind of a patchwork of guesses and detective work. And unfortunately for this video, for me and for my audience, which is about uh, 20 or 30 people these days, which is very nice, thank you very much, the best source was Wiktionary. I know, I know, it's not a particularly reliable source, but this explanation was just too good to ignore. On early film sets, the lighting was controlled well. Basically, on early film sets, you use natural lighting as much as possible, and so that used to be controlled by having tent flaps at the edge of the, of the, the film set. So the gaffer would be the person who had uh, a long pole, like a, like a boat's hook, and that hook would pull the tent flaps open or close them, depending on what lighting you needed. Now, as I say, I couldn't really find any secondary sources or even primary sources for this explanation. So if you work in the film industry and you are a historian of your particular industry and you know whether I'm right or wrong on this, I would really appreciate it because it's kind of interesting. Don't you think it's interesting? Anyway, leave a like if you want. That really helps the exposure of these videos and maybe do a subscribe or leave a comment or, you know, all of those things that people are meant to do. And uh, take care of yourselves because the world is going a little bit mad right now. Um, I've got a cold, uh, but I've, I've got no fever or anything, so I'm actually okay. Uh, but, um, you know, just leave the... You don't need 25 packs of toilet rolls, all right? You don't need that, all right? Okay, uh, uh, see you next week, probably.